What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mike, AKA living with 3M auto vlogging. And today our focus shifts back to the boat. What is that noise? So the Amazon man just dropped off our package to do our maintenance on the boat. So we just got back in from the lake and I have already changed the oil and the spark plugs and the water pump this year, but I have never changed out the gear oil for the lower unit. So let's jump into it. Here's a picture of the lower unit with the prop removed. Notice these two access ports or drain plugs. These plugs are a hard plastic composite material that can be removed with either a flathead or a Phillips screwdriver tip. All right, so let's go ahead and open this thing up. See what we got here. If you're using a raw razor blade like me, be careful. Be cheap to buy an X-Acto knife. Book. Oh yeah, parts, all kinds of parts. That's pretty cool. Lancet Marine. You know, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that but I did order this off of Amazon, okay? And it's one quart or 946 milliliters of gear oil, SAE 90. All right, so, and it comes with, from Suzuki, gear oil pump, 990C0-99002. All right, this is a pump with some fittings right here. Very important. Can't just buy gear oil and think you can replace it without this. This is a very important part of the project. And remember guys, links will be down in the description. So pick yours up today off of Amazon. All right, wanna lower that unit all the way down. And here's a few of the tools that I'm gonna to use today. You want a good oil drain pan, and you're gonna put it right under the engine right there, right underneath the skag. Please tell me I didn't just call that a skag. Skag, maybe. Who writes this material for me? I feel like Joe Biden. Now, before we get started, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it usually takes about one quart of the gear oil, all right? But you may wanna get two just to be on the safe side. You never know, you could spill it. It could require a little more for your application. You never know. So, but right there, you can see there's one. That's the upper and there's the lower. Way down here, all right? So we're gonna remove both of those, starting with the bottom one first. Right. Let's get to it. So flathead screwdriver, we're gonna remove the bottom one first. <clears throat> Careful not to strip it out. Wanna catch that best you can. All right. Just like that. All right, you'll notice it's got little plastic washers on here, but you do not have to replace these like you do the uh, motor oil um, drain plug. All right, so you notice it's draining right here. Okay, when you open the top one up, it's really gonna gush out. It's actually coming out the top too, just a little bit right there. Lost a little bit that way. All right, I'm gonna set these out of the way, not on the ground. All right, we're gonna let that drain. Now you wanna inspect this because if it's a milky white color, um, then you've got some engine issues that you may want to consult a dealer about, or at least a mechanic, a marine mechanic. So everything with this looks pretty good. It's a sort of a brownish clear. It's been changed over the years. So uh, 
it's um, in decent shape. We're gonna let that drain. It's gonna take a few minutes, so don't get in a rush. Let that drain all the way out. And uh, also, I meant to tell you, have some shop rags handy or some old NBA socks. Yeah, and since I don't play in the NBA much anymore, I will, uh, I'll go ahead and use these. Just use these as shop rags. So, up here, just clean around. Just want to wipe everything down. You don't want any contaminants. Yeah, just like that. Bottom's still draining, but when it finishes, we're going to wipe everything down around that with our NBA socks. I had somebody ask me, and they sent me an email, and they were like, okay, why can I not put that bottom plug back in and just, without this pump, use a tube and just gravity feed it down through there? So I'm like, I don't know. I guess you could, but you might spill it. And I'm going to be honest, oil is not cheap these days. <laughs> but I'm doing this per manufacturer's instructions and it says to connect my pump and my fitting right here to this bottom and we're gonna force the fluid in this way until it comes out the top. All right, so open my bag and we got two different fittings right here. So it's gonna be this one right here. Screw that in there, and you're just gonna do hand tight on that. That's why it gives you these little ridges on here. Don't put any pliers on that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is connect this down here. Hold this up and twist this around just like this. That way you don't have to take your tube off of the little yellow nipple all right just like that okay last step open our oil just like this we're gonna put that down in there Tighten that down hand tight. And we're gonna pump this into here. We're gonna fill the unit right here until we see it come out from the top. There it goes. All right, we're getting down to the bottom of the court. So we should start to see oil come out here any second now. There it comes. That's exactly one quart. See it? It's coming out. So we want to put our top plug back in carefully. Let me try it with my hands first. Yeah, it's easier to get it started with your fingertips. All right, got it in there. Put that back in. You want to put it pretty snug, but you don't want to mess anything up. You don't want to strip it out or anything like that. Take your NBA socks or your shop rag and clean this off. All right, just like that. All right, so the final step is have your plug in your hand right here and we're going to unscrew this. Oop. There we go. Lost just a smidgen right there. We'll tighten this down. Just like that. We're going to do a final wipe right there. And up here. Clean everything off really well. That's it. Job's complete.
hey, wait, wait, wait. Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. Check out my buddy's channel. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Check it out right now. Tell me what you think. Absolutely unreal. His name's Keith, fishing and stuff. Go to it right now.